Hello there, um, this is another video, we're doing episode 2 now. Um, just um, a couple of things really. Um, I've always wondered, and I'm not quite sure why. But, um, you know, not that I'm sort of slagging them off, but I've always found that women can talk on the phone for hours. And they never actually, well, they make, like when they make plans to go out with each other, they talk on the phone for hours, and when they go out, they won't, they may talk about the same thing, but, but how can a woman spend hours on the phone? I've never quite got it. Well, it's men, for example. We phone up our friends and we say, Pub, eight, bang, see you there, bye. End of. But women just feel they have to speak on the phone about their day. Um, and then, you know, when they go out in the evening, do they discuss the same thing? And something else, can I just ask, um, as I'm not a woman, um, so I wouldn't know, but... Um, why do women always, always have to take their handbags with them to the toilet? Now some say it's because they want to make themselves look lovely. But then this is debatable. You know, are they, are they hiding something in the handbag that their partner can't see, or that the man can't see? Hmm. Well, if any women actually do that, could you let me know? Because I've, I've just always wondered why they feel the need to take the handbag. I mean, it's like, I, mean, it's like I take my phone with me when I go to the toilet. I just put it in my pocket, though. I don't, you know, stand or sit on the toilet on the phone. <coughs> um, and, to, and there's something else as well, um, which I'd kind of like to sort of clear up. Um, if you're going out with someone, why, why is it, um, well, obviously, you know, all young men, well, any man, sometimes when they go out, they like to look at, you know, other people, um, other women, really, for blokes. I can guarantee you that there'll always be a bloke that will say, Oh, that girl's got a nice arse on her. Oh my god, that girl's beautiful. And I've got to say, actually, one time I actually went out um, with a mate to a pub. And it's no word of a lie, but it was, well, odd. Um, this this girl had an ear piercing. Fine. But it was if a, it's like she'd had a, and we actually asked her, she had a cigarette as an ear piercing. Like an actual cigarette ear piercing. And you know when you look and you think, no, no, that that can't be right. Well, this it it was right. And it didn't it didn't quite look right. It looked like I mean, it's, oh, I mean we actually looked and she actually had a like a cigarette in her ear as like that she was smoking, but ugh, she actually had an ear piercing of a cigarette and it just I don't know it, I mean we kept looking and then when she walked in we asked her she said and her I don't know if there's a boyfriend or brother you know whoever um, and she said no she she does actually have that and I don't know it it, it didn't look I mean, to me it's, it's not it's not particularly something that, that I sort of find you know attractive really um, but then it's you know She's one that goes around with it, but you surely would you not be embarrassed, you know? You know, and the same with tattoos as well. I've never, never been a fan of tattoos. Some people have them. It's like some, like some people you see that their arms are just covered in them, and, I'm like, and I'm, it's not. It doesn't. I don't think it looks nice, really. You know, and then you know, what's to say that you have one all the way down your arm, and then in five years, time you think, no, I don't want this. Can't get rid of it. It's going to be there, you know, with you.
whatever. I never. I mean, um, you know, I, I, I don't understand some people like them, you know. But I've always thought, you know, make it something, you know, something interesting. <coughs> oh, excuse me, got a bit of a chesty cough. Um, you know, at least make it something nice. You know, and then like some people as well, it's funny, I have to, have to laugh with you. See, like some people have got like piercings on their face and, and the tongue things as well. You can actually get, and I haven't got any, but I don't know what I did that, but you can get them, um, like some sort of piercings on your tongue. Um, woo, hello. Um, you know, so it's fair enough, but I, they just don't like, especially when you go on there or on there. You, or you can get your belly buttons, well, well anything pierced actually. You are you there? Get and get one. Um, what's it called? Uh, it's completely gone. I forgot what this is called. Eyebrow. You can get one. You can get one on your eyebrow. There. There. Here. Here. There, you know, down there. Again, fine, but it just—I don't. I mean, obviously, if you're hiding them, and some, and can I just actually um, talking about tattoos? One thing that I've always thought of, um, I'm, I'm not picking my nose, just got an itch. Um, one thing I've, I've actually always thought of is that if you're going to get a tattoo, the idea is to show, you know, to show off some people but then if you're going to get one why get one and hide it like, if, like it's like if you're going to get one why would you sort of you know get it put on your back or you know down your leg unless you're wearing clothes that well if you aren't wearing any, if you aren't wearing any clothes then you know then you can show it off but if you're wearing why would you hide it? Because you're not really, you know, you know, you're not exactly, uh, you know, going to be able to show it off if it's covered up. I never, never understood that. Never, never actually understood why you get a tattoo and decide to hide it. But don't like tattoos and don't like ear piercings. Or don't like any piercings, really. However. I do know some people that do have tattoos, and that's their choice, really. If they want one, then they have one. But I won't be having any. Believe me. But I don't really find them interesting. Just think it's pointless. And the fact that they cost quite a bit of money. But you do that, you know, if you want to do that, you do it and you can enjoy it. Rest of your life with a tattoo, but it's there for life. So, say no more. Now, if you, if you remember, um, last week I was talking about um, buses. And um, how are you actually finding? Um, I've actually been using um, the new uh, online sort of bus checker, and I said you where, where you can sort of type in your bus, and it will tell you when your bus is coming. Now, just to, you know, sort of giving it a try. Um, I have to actually say that I think that it's, it's it's quite handy to have because you can now sort of leave it a little bit later. But then looking at the bus board, when you see that the, that the bus is sort of due at a certain time, when you check on the bus checker, it tells you that the bus is going to be three minutes. So, for example, one of the bus that I get, uh, it says it comes at sort of 18 minutes past. But when I check on the bus on online, it says it comes. At, it's going to sort of going to be three minutes, which which would mean it would come at twenty one. So, how does the bus thing work? Does it? It's, that's a question. Um, does it kind of? It, does it sort of sort of do it over? You know, over a satellite. It tells you. It's sort of got a thing on the like a sensor thing on the bus, and it tells you when it's coming. Hmm. But I've, I, it's quite handy because it means you know. That you can leave a bit later, but then you have to run for it. 
the amount of time you have to run for the bus, and especially if you checked. But then, if it, if the bus is coming early, does it then change to being due? And it's, it's like I said, it's quite good because it just saves, saves you sort of standing around, at, you know, at, at bus stops waiting for your bus when you just can check online, bang, it's there. Uh, excuse me. Do you know what I mean? So I've just eaten a bowl of porridge actually. So that's maybe this might just burped so, so loudly. Although yesterday actually as well, I did a really huge burp yesterday. I down, I was so my mouth was so dry. I downed a bottle. Well, I didn't actually down the bottle, but I was sort of taking a, like a, a bottle of drink, and I literally was like, <coughs> sort of because my mouth was so dry. It's sort of you know when you sort of swirl it around in your mouth and then you swallow it. I was doing that quite a few times. I just sort of burped quite loudly. Um, my stomach will, will go in a minute as well, actually, because I'm quite peckish still. Still, so my stomach will rumble in a minute. Um, it's near time to go. It's been nice to be back. Um, but before I do, um, something else as well. Can I just clear up one thing? When you go, if, if like I know when you, like, when you go on the underground, they say to you, uh, please let passengers off the train before you board the train. Now I don't know why. Personally, you waste your breath in saying it. As I don't quite get why everybody decides to crowd on a bus or a train whilst people are trying to get off. Now personally, they're not going to, the, the train isn't going to go anywhere, as long as you're standing there, in future, if you're getting on a bus or a train, well, I should you know, a bus is a bit different actually, because there's two doors, you know, one at the front, one at the back, or one or in the middle. Rather, there's not one at the back. There's one at the front and one sort of in the middle. Um, but obviously, you know, but if, especially for trains, please let people get off the train before you get on. As I believe me, I find that really frustrating. Like you, it's, it may seem like for a bus, everyone crowds in at the same time. You don't need to. They'll wait. The bus driver will wait till everyone gets on. Oh, bomb. Never mind. Time almost and upwards. Um, it's time now to go. So um, join me next week when I'll be talking about more topics. Um, you know, and enjoy the rest of your day and your week. Uh, if you'd like to contact me, um, you can contact me um, via my Twitter, my Facebook, uh, or via email. Uh, all the details uh, are on your screen now. Until next time. Bonjour.